Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. So this is going to be a special love slash oracle reading. So if you wish to rent this extended, click on that upside down triangle below. It'll bring up the description page. It will be located on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com in the Zodiac Intimate. No, excuse me, in the special love slash oracle reading section on my website. Um, but also you can click on that link below in the description box and the first link takes you to my website. Again, it's Special Love Oracle Readings in the Extended. Also, the, um, that description page below is going to be my Patreon link. A few love erotic tarot readings, I do them there as well as some bonus ones as well. Now, your first card is Healing Family Issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, for some of you, it is Return of the Mac. No, I'm just kidding. Return of the Mac. Return. Someone comes back. Baby, come back. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. What I think is shocking is that for some of you, you didn't think you would hear from or see this person again. This doesn't mean it's going to be the person you fucking marry. Someone from your past could show themselves again is really all that I'm getting from that. Now, for some, it is someone that comes back in that you're going to marry the love of your life. Oh my God, it's Noah. Noah's back. Or for some of you, it's just someone that comes back in and you're like shocked and you go, wow, guess who I fucking saw? Guess who texted me? Guess who called me? It'll be a little different for each of you. All right. So... What's the energy? What's the 411 spirit? What's the 411? Give us information. What are we allowed to know? What do you want us to know? What are we allowed to know? You have no need to worry. And you have don't stop. Get it, get it. Big happy changes bottom of the deck. So a lot of change happening here. Many of you, the don't stop feels like you're doubting yourself. Some of you feel like, well, I take 10 steps forward, I get dragged back 15. There's a strong sense here for some of you, like I feel like there's not enough progress. So why do I keep doing it? That's what that feels like too. No need to worry. Someone here has got a big weight on their shoulders. <clears throat> something is shifting and it's changing quite soon as well too feels financial if you're watching my instagram live earlier xi underscore missy underscore xi it's my only instagram and reminder i would never dm you solicit you or message you on instagram and ask if you would like a reading those are frauds okay so here you have despair Someone here is sad as fuck. Someone here is questioning something. Someone here is going through something. Second guessing is what I felt. <clears throat> this is why this person could come back for some. They second guess it. The expectation she expects to never hear from them again. Distant horizons. Expects that one day turned into two days, turned into three days, four days, five days of no communication. She just expects that it's going to just be that way forever. And for some of you, this person comes back in because it's like a weird thing, like they always miss you. Like I miss you. See, it's a masculine, I miss you. I think about you, I can't let you go, I miss you. I want to be with you, I miss you. You ever heard the saying, don't know what you've got till it's gone? That's this. There's some type of connection that keeps these two <coughs> together. And there's a feeling of... <sighs> it's like keeping these two together... The nightingale, like, see, they both call out to the other, their souls. Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight, someone's thinking of me. 
and loving me tonight. It's very Fievel, American Tale vibes. Nightingale has to speak something. They have to sing their truth, speak their truth. Someone here may have been closed up. Look, the oyster. They may have been, you know, clammed up. They didn't speak their truth. They didn't say how much they loved you. They, they, they're clammed up. They weren't open, right? They weren't, they just weren't in the space of being open to it. And it's like, then now they're apart. And however long it's been that they've been apart, we don't know, is it lifetimes? Is it five months in this life? We don't know. It's gonna be different for all of you. You have justice, which is Libra. <clears throat> Strong. Strong karmic ties, but not in the sense of a karmic relationship. Feels like the karmic ties are the fact that they have the same karmic lessons in most lifetimes. Not that you guys have a karmic lesson together and then it's not meant to be. It's like you guys have the same sort of lessons that you guys learn, have to learn. Death, Scorpio vibes. Death here is also about the end is the beginning, beginning is the end. Someone here has got to step the fuck up, the emperor. They've got to rise to the occasion. <clears throat> and what it appears here is that for some of them, rising to the occasion is speaking something. Maybe for some of them, they have to tell you they love you. Look at that. They're in pure sadness when they're not with this one. Don't know what you've got till it's gone. See, I, I just, I had to be away from you or I have to feel that loss of you. And some of them are standoffish with you if you guys know this person, okay? Let's say you guys are already communicating. If you already know this person, a lot of them are purposely standoffish with you because they don't want to get attached. Remember? The oyster. Now, the beautiful thing about the oyster is, is that there is a pearl inside, right? It's this hidden treasure. But well, how does a pearl get created? Well, a little piece of sand gets inside of the oyster, even though the oyster tries to push it away, push it away, push it away, push it away. <clears throat> and it just gets inside of the oyster and it irritates the oyster and the oyster tries to push it away and spit it out and spit it out and spit it out. Through that process, it sort of transmutes this little tiny piece of sand into this gorgeous, you know, treasure, this beautiful pearl. So that could be quite symbolic here somehow as well about the pushing away, pushing away, pushing away. And then it sort of creates this gorgeous treasure. I mean, whoever this is, you've got their attention. It's the fact that you, when they, when some of them left, you let them. You didn't chase them. You said, fuck this, I know my worth. If you wanna go, go. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Hierophant's also marriage and union. The Grasshopper. Grasshopper talks about birth of a son. Talks about luck. <coughs> Leap of faith, prosperity. It also says easy going, right? Moving on. Someone here just sort of says, okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. And that leap of faith of letting go, of trusting that something better is going to come along, puts you in the right vibrational frequency. Look at that mortar and pesto. That's that alchemy we were talking about earlier. The alchemization of the salt, excuse me, of the sand turning into a pearl. So for some of you, that's what this is, right? Breaking things down. It's making something else. It's making something else. That's absolutely incredible energy. You have the dolphins. Dolphins is peace. It's fun. It's playful. It's effective communication. And, you know, you have here that nightingale that needs to sing their song. They need to express themselves. You have the church here, which talks about marriage. Someone here may have already been married. Okay, someone here also wants to get married. <clears throat> Maybe they didn't realize they wanted to get married until they met you, right? But there's that vibe here of, I, I, didn't, I didn't know how much I wanted you. I didn't know how much I wanted love. Because that could be it for some as well, right? It's the separation and being alone, realizing, oh my God, I do actually want a family. I do want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be alone. So for some of you, it's not a reconciliation with another person. It's reconciliation with just love itself. Just wanting to be in love. Wow, you have Serapis Bay, Ascension. 
rising up. <clears throat> Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. That's fucking ascension. Rising up. Not that that the Holy Grail. The Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember? And only love is real. I just said that, like coming back to reconciliation with love. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. <coughs> so <coughs> for some of you, that's exactly what it is. Reconciliation with self-love. Realizing, you know what? I've been running from love because of past experiences and I'm actually, I'm actually ready to love again, All right? And here we have Mary Magdalene, which is teacher awakens. You have something important to share Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. All right. So she is a divine feminine. Someone here realizes how very much they love their feminine or wants to be in a relationship again. Someone here, because it's a reconciliation for some, coming back. <clears throat> for some of you, they, it's like they feel like, I feel like someone feels like they're in love. That's what it feels like. It feels like somebody feels like they're in love. And either they were running from love or they were running from a particular person. And it's like, oh my God, I'm in fucking love. Because you don't know what you got till it's gone. See, in the past, someone here didn't accept this cup of love. The holy grail of love. And, and it could have bitten them in the ass because it's like, oh my God, I really do. Uh, see, I really do want this with you. I want the happily ever after. I want the house, the home, the, the dream job, the kids, you know, the, the whole eating pancakes at 1130 on a Sunday afternoon with you. Like they want that with you. They just either don't realize it <clears throat> well, I mean, it is a whole, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. A lot of people are like that. We've all learned that lesson before. Ace of Wands, something new is given. There's like, um, there's a reach out. Someone reaches out. Someone extends something. They reach out. They extend their hand. They extend an olive branch. <clears throat> they, they come back. All right, I wanna get into your guys' extended, okay? Again, if you wanna rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. It's gonna be in the special love slash oracle readings. And it's gonna be $8.88. I put my last special love readings extended at $8.88 as well. They're normally all $11.11, as you guys know if you rent my videos. But for these, I think we're gonna do $8.88. Not only is eight about abundance and the infinity symbol, right? Feels right. Maybe you get that eight going for all of us. You know, you spend eight eighty eight, you get in return what comes back to you, right? You you get what you give. And so we're just on this real vibe of like all the eights coming in. So this extended, should you wish to rent it, will be $8.88 again. Click on that upside down triangle. First link will take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. And again, I would never reach out to you via DM, solicit you on Instagram, okay? Those are frauds. The only way to book a reading with me is by emailing me, saltwaterhillstarot at gmail.com. All of my pricing is below. Everything is in that page, that description box. You um, have to email me which one you want so I know how much to invoice you for, okay? Because there's different prices. So I only invoice via PayPal, you guys, okay? All right, I will... Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions here on YouTube, and I will see you in your extended. Love you.